Mandy Mully. He's got the uh, red strap around his wrist and the red gloves. Yeah, Charlie in the blue. In the welterweight division. And scheduled for three two minute rounds. Your referee in charge of the action is Mr. Jamie Alderson. Introducing first of all, fighting out of the blue corner, hailing from Rough Diamonds MMA with a record of one victory and no defeat, Charlie Pivot! <laughs> Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, hailing from Allegiance Jiu Jitsu Academy, making his debut, Vodi. Well, both your men look well up for this. Blue got a fair bit of support. Red corner, Mali. Oh, straight in with a teep for just Charlie Church. And Vodden looking to reply. Yeah. Inside low kick, yeah. outside low kick. Vodden went to uh, touch gloves there. And Charlie just giving him a teep straight down the centre. Heavy leg kick there from Vodden. And Vodden. another one. Yeah, uh, Baden's chasing forward more so here at the moment. Yeah, he's throwing them shots with bad intentions. But Charlie drives in hard for a double leg against the fence on Baden. Looks like he's in on a bit of a high crotch, maybe. Yeah, Baden's got one overhook. It looks like he's trying to pummel for the underhook now. But it's Church currently pressing. Lowers his base there, maybe looking for a a lower attack on the legs and manages to secure both hands around the legs but good defense from Baden. yeah good balance there just stuck his backside out far enough to get a bit of a break on the grip still got his back against the fence though as church is pressing in with good head movement and head positioning great head pressure there from church charlie working hard for this takedown he is indeed, and he's just like landing the odd knee, Dave, on the inside of the legs yeah. as well. But gets turned here, it's Vadim who's now pressuring. Good knee to the body there from Vadim. Charlie turns him, puts him back on the cage. Bit of back and forth so far in round one, Dave. 20 seconds left on the clock. Nice little knees onto the thighs there from Charlie. You know, it's, it's often look, overlooked, really, but the cage work makes up a big portion of a round, Dave. Is a big thing, yeah, definitely. And it's mainly Charlie here who's yeah. been pressing the action towards the fence. Yeah, I think I think, um, I think that teeth woke Vadim up a little bit, and then uh, Vadim came out with some heavy striking, kind of like... Put the Charlie urgency on him, yeah, yeah. And Charlie was like, okay, maybe I need to clinch with this guy and put him against the fence. Um, both confident young men, you know. They're. Absolutely, both doing some good work there. Um, the, uh, considering how much cage wrestling was going on there, neither of them hit the ground either. So no, exactly. that's a credit to the, the wall work, the cage work that they're doing. You know, being able to stay on the feet, being able to pummel, turn off, change positions. Yeah, there was a couple of exchanges there where both guys' backs were against the fence for a period of time, and yeah, some good defense being shown, but a good assault as well. You know, Absolutely. the offense was there. See what minor adjustments the coaches are going to make and uh, see how round two plays out. Turned, but shoots him for a double leg. Yeah, managed to secure the double leg's time. Going straight into side control. Charlie's doing a good thing though. He's managed to get his back to the fence. Uh, he's pushing, posting Posture off the head, head well, yeah. but Vadim looking to climb higher now. He's got a hold of a body lock. Maybe looking for a high crotch. But great defense on the back end there by Charlie. Yeah, managing to get his underhooks in. Oh, sorry, one underhook, one overhook. Beautiful work there with his hips. Manages to get out into the middle. Throws a knee on the inside. 
Strong display of, uh, yeah, absolutely. of grappling there from Charlie Church. Great cage work there. Yeah, it's Bradham now with his back against the fence. He's got an underhook on his right side, but eats a knee on the left side. But manages to find his way out into the open, throws a knee and breaks free. And another double leg attempt from Vadim and he secures it. Secures it this time, looks like to wrap up the legs. Looking to mermaid the legs and climb to mount, but so far just manages to secure yeah, side control. Good defense from Charlie there, recognizing that. Looking for side mount now, trying to crucifix the leg, uh, sorry, the arm. With the nice. leg, but secures mount position. Yeah, great position in the neon belly transition to full mount. Yeah, Badham's grappling looks quite aggressive. He's transitioned three different positions quickly. He's like to try to isolate the arm. Yeah, now transitioning to the side. He's going to look for an arm bar here, Dave. Charlie, Charlie defending right as best he can. Yeah, just needs to be careful that he doesn't uh, leave his arm in too much there is his posture. Oh. Saved by the bell, I think, there. But that was a great transition. Yeah, very uh, aggressive there from Badham in the grappling department. I mean, relentlessly shot for those doubles. Secured top position, manages to get round into the side position. Mounted then and tried to set up a, a strong armbar attempt towards the end of the round. Charlie showing good defense overall, but <coughs> excuse me. I'd give that round there to Vadim. Yeah, I think so. Um, the way the way he decided to wrap the legs, you know, mermaid transition to side control, neon belly full mount, and then like you say, just turned his opponent off the fence, put posturing up and positioning for that armbar. Um, rolled over nicely into it. Charlie recognized it, managed to isolate the elbow and just keep himself safe for the end of the round. Round and maybe that's what saved him in the. Yeah. But it, it was pretty much one way. I would definitely say that. that for me, that's a round of peace now. I would so agree. This, this third round is going to be interesting. It's all to play for, Dave. But we both know this ain't playing. This is fighting. These guys are going to put it all on the line now. Third round. Adam's low kicks are returned with body shots from Charlie. Yeah, Charlie just, uh, one of his shots slipped up there and hit, hit Vadim in the face. Um, the ref's just having a quick way of doing the out lap. About to happen, I mean, it's difficult to keep your shots below the chin, isn't it, is when you slide, he, his, the body slides up onto the face. It wasn't intentional, it was an accident, but the referee doing the right thing, just giving him a little bit of warning, you know, strike placements. So both guys exchanging low kicks here. Adam gets hold of a double underhook body lock here. Now transitioning to the legs. So it's Charlie with his back against the fence currently. High crutch. Oh no, it's off the body lock. Yeah, off the body lock. Nice little elevation some, there from Adam. Some strength there, yeah. Charlie's still got air hooks, managed to get back to his feet. He's still in on a single leg so far, is Badham, but. Charlie doing a great job of staying up on his feet and sneaks his way free. Nice escape, Dave. Yeah. Just kind of run out of the way there, didn't he? Some heavy strikes there from Vadim. Yeah, it's Vadim now yeah, really Vadim's, opening up. Yeah, Vadim's uh, pushing forward. He's got bad intentions on them shots. Body shots and knees, low kicks. Charlie Church returns with a body shot. Yeah. Charlie's feeling these. Vadim is pushing forward, but Charlie's not going away. Yeah, I think that calf's hurt, to be honest. Vadim's landed a couple of nice calf kicks. But Charlie in, you know, pressure. Yeah, he's still pressing the fence now. I think both guys are going to be feeling this tomorrow. Well, 15 seconds. Yeah, we're down to the last 10 seconds, Dave, and unless Charlie can secure a big double leg here, I think it's probably Adam's uh, win to be had. I think so, but again, we're not judges. Uh, but just from what we can see, you know, Adam scored a couple of takedowns there, the, the body lock lift, uh, and then when he did throw strikes, there was definitely a bit more aggression in them. 
for me. Yeah, for me, he, he flew like he meant business. Yeah. I definitely think Charlie's going to be feeling that, that on his calf muscle tomorrow. Uh, I've had him on, did a couple of them low calf kicks. and uh, Yeah, and, it, you know, it was like Charlie was trying to check them, but they were just sneaking around that left side yeah. of, his, uh, of his shin bone. And, you know, as well as I do, Dave, they're not nice when those are nice. they, they sting a little bit. They, make you, they definitely make you walk funny for a few days. <laughs> So Vadim's corner team celebrating like they've won. Um, to be fair, I won't be surprised if he does, but uh, I hope they're not celebrating just a little bit too prematurely because they're not judges and neither are we. Now this is it. We await the judges' decision. But again, another three action-packed rounds there. Then. Three no, no, no rounds of that. action we head over to the judges at Cape Two judges scoring the contest, 30 points to 27. The third judge scoring this, 29 points to 28. All in favour of your winner as a result of a unanimous decision in the red corner, Ready. Well, Baden Malin gets the decision. That was a great fight from two young men who, again, 